we criticize sometimes and we didn't play and all that stuff or we didn't coach but I'm about to criticize the coach who I've been criticizing and guess what I'm not going to stop criticizing her because I do not like the way that she handles certain things as a coach so we heard from Kim Mulkey on a different LSU player earlier this week let's hear what Kim Mulkey had to say coach we also didn't see Kateri Pool tonight. Is there a timetable? She's no for her longer return? with us. So she's not on the team at Correct. all? Correct. And she won't be back this Correct. season? Correct. Kim, I just wanted to follow up on Kateri. Was it dismissal or was it a mutual thing? Or She's no longer on the team. Okay. So I just always have a problem with the way this woman deals with the media. Um, and I'll even give her slight grace here, but I probably shouldn't because she referred to Kateri as she, okay? But Kateri uses they, their pronouns, right? So let's properly respect her, respect, I'm sorry, Kateri, and not misgender, right? Mm -hmm. And so she should know that though as the coach. I don't know that a lot of people know that about Kateri because the way... Kateri is written about often, they do refer to Kateri as her. They don't use they, their, them, right? So I'm not sure that a lot of people know, but the coach I'm sure had to know because Kateri goes by them. And also, right, it just, it, it raises questions because remember everything that happened with Brittany Griner and the way that Brittany Griner left. And we know that Kim Mulkey talking to Brittany Griner and saying like, you know, kind of don't be so out there, uh, you know, about, you know, the fact that, you know, you're gay, you know, just she, we know that this was a thing, right? When, when Kim mm -hmm. Mulkey coached Brittany Griner. So I, I don't want to believe that she would intentionally just do this now, but it, that in itself is problematic. But then again, of course, like if this reporter didn't even ask about Kateri, would we even know? And I get it. You can look at the numbers and you can look at the stats and say, well, what's the big deal? She's not a significant player. But Rita, like you always say, the stats don't always tell the story. Um, yep. She was a key player last year. Um, she started in all of their um when they got when they made it into the the, the postseason and and for the championship she started in all of those games i mean kateri i apologize kateri started in all of those games and in addition in addition kateri was the person who recruited angel reese okay mm -hmm. kateri is the reason angel reese ended up at lsu and they have a great relationship they have a great yeah. relationship and we, we saw that Angel Reese did tweet and, you know, kind of was just like, you know, sent love. And the only thing we've heard from Kateri is that, you know, they did a thank you. So aside from that, we haven't heard any more. And I just think, you know, this, per this player who was important to your team, you could tell us a little bit more, you know, like, it, it just even even if you don't want to tell the, the details, like you know, we're you know we're disappointed. We don't have Kateri anymore because of what Kateri meant to the team. You know, just something. But it's just like I just don't understand um, Kim Mulkey's approach. So again, I'm going to start with you, um, Kelsey, and then Rita give you the last word on this. Yeah, you know, it's been unfortunate. And, you know, I think when you think about a story where the lead is Barry, Poole's story has been just that because we were so focused for so long on Angel Reese, right? And her missing from the team when this was actually happening at the same time. So all that to say, you know, obviously now we know she hasn't been with the team since November 17th. And folks, when you think about it, we're almost at a month since that. And again, we're just finding this out on Sunday. But then number two, we know the last time that we have actually seen her or really not play, right? We know she didn't play in that November 14th game. Or sorry, they did not play in that November 14th game. So all that to say, Poole um, is another player that yet once again, we see Kim Mulkey not 
giving the media, not just like the media, like, I mean, I was on radio yesterday in Louisiana, not giving anyone really any specifics. Kind of the only thing that we've heard with the entire basketball team was that there was, quote, locker room issues. Those have not been attributed to anyone, right? So we don't know who those have to be attributed to. But all in all, when you look at pool and what has happened, it's like you said, it was just blank, not on the team, you know, nothing else. And then again, it, like I said with Angel Reese, it allows people to make their own narrative of what happened. I think and what's what we also are forgetting, and it's in pool, we're thinking about someone who transferred to LSU. Um, you know, Nat, you touched on it, their contribution to the championship team last year, but also think about where you are in the season now when you can't play anymore and you think about NCAA transfer rules, that does not put them in a good place at all. And again, we still have no reason why. If I'm a coach, you know, looking maybe, I, I just don't know anything. So all that to say, I think Kim Mulkey continues to do her players a disservice. Um, and let me say this, I'm not saying that Kim Mulkey is a bad basketball coach. Obviously, she's a very talented basketball coach. I'm not taking anything away from her. But in this situation, I'm like, Kim, I'm actually talking about her character and a character that we expect to see in a coach when you are, you know, leading, um, when you're leading young people, quite frankly, you know, when you're leading them, not just on the basketball court, but in society as a whole, right? That's what a coach figure is. So all in all to say, I just think Kim Mulkey just continues to make us have to criticize her because this is what she continues to keep doing. But all in all, I am, you know, worried about pool. I, I wish them the best, you know, because again, like you said, now we haven't heard anything. I mean, we saw Angel Reese's comments and I love that Angel Reese did that because at least, you know, we saw teammate support, which I think is very vital and very crucial. But once again, we have questions about what would lead to a dismissal at this point in the season and for nothing, nothing at all to come out of that athletic department. It just puts big questions. And I think that means we have to keep the, you know, we have to keep the eye on LSU because we also want to make sure that nothing um, wrong was done, right? We have to make sure that this player is also protected. So I think as media members, this makes me want to look more into this team to see what exactly happened. So I think Kim Mulkey is going to continue to get the questions and I hope she can just continue to take the heat. Yeah, I, I want her to take the heat because the way that she is speaking with the media is, a, is of a person that does not care. She does not care about her job security. I mean, obviously, we know she got uh, a new deal or, or whatever, um, but she doesn't care of, about having to talk, to speak to anybody or having to go to anybody and explain herself. She doesn't have to as far as she's concerned. This is why she's not giving anybody any answers. And I just don't think that you should handle things that way. As a coach, a part of what it is that you do is speaking to the media and you're allowing people to come up with their own narratives about what's going on in your program. Do you think that that's okay? The fact that you don't care is bothersome to me because what I, if, if it's not me, then I'm going to tell you it's not me. I'm going to tell you that this is what's going on. And, and, and I'm not suggesting that she is 100% transparent. I'm not suggesting that she airs out her dirty laundry and puts specific people under the bus. I'm simply saying that if there's a locker room issue, then say, you know, we're just dealing with different personalities and we're just trying to figure out the best team that we can put on the field, I mean, on the court and this, that, and the third. Instead, you're just not saying anything. So you're allowing people to come up with whatever it is that they want to come up with and you don't give a damn. Which says to me a lot about you as a person and not necessarily as a coach when really we should just be having conversations about what it is that you do as a coach so again I, I don't know why she's just okay with oh she's not a part of the team anymore she's not a part of the team the same like you said the same way that she did Angel Reese in terms of her suspension say something People are not going to stop asking questions. They're going to continue to ask. And if you keep giving them these answers, they're, and, and if you get mad, because then they come up with their own conclusions based on them speaking to other people on your team, don't get upset because you have the opportunity to debunk any theory that's out there about what's going on with your program currently. And you've decided not to do any of that. So that's problematic right. for her. It's problematic for the media because they, they still have to do their job. They still have to write the stories. They still have to put the tweets out. They still have to do all of these things. And you're just allowing people to, to just make up whatever it is that they choose to make up. And that's just unfortunate for Qatari. It's unfortunate for Angel and everybody else because this affects the team too. You know what yeah. I mean? It affects the, the team and it affects everybody around it. And Kim is not handling, in my opinion, she's not handling this properly at all. Yeah, for sure. It's very hard to know what to make of LSU because they are still winning. They are still winning, but yes. something feels off about the team. And so we will just continue to monitor that situation.